Okay, here we are, you and me, back together. It is Tuesday, uh, March 9th, 2021. People, here's where we stand, and it's kind of an interesting spot to be in right now. Stock trading doesn't start for about 45 minutes. The 10-year yield has dropped rather significantly, 1.53 plus. We got a dollar right now, weaker. This is a nice setup. This is a nice set up for this market to put on gains here and imagine my shock <laughs> stock futures are higher across the board pointing towards a higher open at least what else is going on crude oil is catching a bid yet again here's the issue with crude oil and i covered this yesterday they want it higher they want the price of crude oil higher so expect something else to happen that's going to push crude higher. Um, I don't like to think of it, but that's what they're going to do. Let us move forward. Gold and silver are catching a bid right now, although a lot of this is dollar weakness today. Cryptocurrency is higher across the board. Bitcoin is over 54000 It's going higher. Cryptos are going higher in this environment, people. I think you get that. Um, so basically, that's where we stand right now. A market poised for gains at the open. A 10-year yield. I mean, it's 1.53. And that weaker dollar is definitely going to buoy this market. And, you know, look, I want you to understand this again you can't just look at that 10-year yield. It's super important, all right? It's the most important thing to look at. There's no doubt about it. But you must also look at the Dixie or the dollar index. What is it doing? The market, in my view, will tolerate a higher 10-year yield if the dollar stays weak, which the dollar will remain weak. We understand what's going on here when a massive... Uh, debt acquisition cycle, debt issuance cycle. We've seen nothing like this in the history of the world. It's just a matter of time before the dollar responds in a negative way and in a big negative way. Now, what else are we hearing about? Um, if you recall again, I want to I want to talk about this real quick. Uh, we had Yellowstone Powell explaining that we were going to get an inflation spike. Uh, sometime relatively soon. The market didn't like it. 10-year yield shot up. Um, then we had Janet corroded Yellen stain out yesterday saying, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Uh, you know, I, I don't foresee this happening. Market wants to hear this. Again, a former Fed chairperson, you know, contradicting a sitting Fed chairperson. You know, that's what the market wants to hear. It wants to be reassured um, that inflation is not going to be a problem. And, and the, the issue is very simple. Until this economy turns around and the economy is dead, it's dead and it's dying, we're not going to have any kind of inflation. And, uh, I mean, big inflation because the money velocity, it, there's no money velocity. The rate at which cash moves to the economy is dead too. Dead economy, no money velocity. And, and I laughed this morning. I'm sitting here and I'm watching Bloomberg and they were parading out some creatures uh, trying to talk about the recovery. What recovery are we in? We're still locked down, forced to wear masks on our face, uh, diaper, face diapers. Uh, you know, we're, we're locked down, essentially, and our economy is dead, manufacturing, falling off a cliff, we're not exporting anything. I mean, you got to be kidding me. You really do. And they, they got to convince you that what you're seeing is not real. It's a joke. It's absolutely a joke, but this is the way it's going to go as, as we move forward through the freak show, and the freak show is a shit show, and you know that. Who knows what else they're going to pull off? What, what I would be looking for here um, is more Fed presidents to, you know, rear their ugly heads, uh, talking about, you know, how beautiful things are, and don't worry, the Fed is going to backstop the market. That's, look, the Fed is going to buy it all until they can't buy it all. And when they can't buy it all, is going to be a moment where this whole thing is going to melt down by their own hand, by their own. Who's buying bonds right now? Let me ask you, who do you think is buying bonds right now to keep that rate suppressed? 
When we all understand the market's going higher, I want you to think about that. Do you believe for a split second that this is actual investors that are willing to buy bonds here in a raging bull market? How about no? How about no? This is obviously the Federal Freak Show Reserve. They're buying bonds here. Nobody else would be buying bonds. Understand that. If you're out here and you're buying a, a bond right now, a, a debt unit, which isn't even keeping up with the actual rate of inflation, it's yield, then you are deranged, deluded, and you, you should be running from this market because you have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> Who would want to buy a bond here? Nobody. It's obviously the Federal Reserve, okay? Because this market, it's going higher. The market is going higher, and especially if the Federal Reserve, when they decide to institute yield curve control, some new form of operation twist, or whatever they're going to do, the Fed's goal is to inflate and inflate and inflate and inflate even more than that. That's, and they're leading us right into another crisis. You have to understand what you're looking at, too. This isn't all just like your la-la land utopia, okay? The Fed is leading us, leading us directly into a series of, of more crises. You understand? That's what they're doing by design so they can gain control. That's what this is all about, people. I know you get this if you follow this blog. I, I think you're awake and you understand what's going on here. But again, just think about what I said. Who is buying bonds? Who? Who? Duh! We know who it is. Nobody would be buying bond here. People are going to get along this market in one way or the other. Stocks are going higher in this environment, period, the end. Gold and silver is the place to be if you believe the Fed is going to continue to inflate cryptocurrencies as well. No doubt about it. Uh, that, that's just the way it's going to go. Until it doesn't. And I don't give a damn about when it doesn't, okay? For, we trade the market we have. I mean, one, one of the pages in my book, A Not-So-Random Walk on Wall Street, right at the top in big, bold letters, trade the market you have. Forget about thinking too far down the line here. We want to capitalize on the here and freaking now as traders. But of course, you know, as stackers, I'm a stacker. I'm a huge stacker. You all know that. You know, that, that's for down the line. And I don't give a damn what game they want to play in the short run with regard to gold and silver. We know who's doing it. I covered it yesterday. We were at the six-month anniversary of J.P. Morgan paying $920 million for fine for rigging the metals market. It's incredible. It really is. People take advantage of this stuff. That's all I have to tell you. All right, so that's that's where we stand right now. Stocks poised for a higher open. Ten-year yield dropping. Dollar weaker. Crude oil catching a bid. Imagine my shock. Going higher. They're going to stage another event or jawbone another one to keep crude higher. Period. The lovely end. All right, I'm out of here. Love you a lot. Please share the video. We're going to cover all this at the end of the day. It's going to be just all kinds of fun. All right, I'm out of here. See you then.